Bollywood, the dancing, the music. Just got a degree in IT. I'm a software engineer. Got a lot in common. You see, I'm a man of the people and I love learning about cultures. Miss India is a furry. <laughs> this guy doesn't know what namaste means? Come on, brother, seriously. Steve, Harvey. So her mom's a gynecologist. Is she her gynecologist? Or would that be weird? Sticking it to the patriarchy, the evil patriarchy. Harnaz Sandhu. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. India Miss Universe won the 70th Miss Universe. Now I've done some Miss Universe reaction videos before and someone in my comments said, Brian, you gotta do a Miss India reaction video because lots of people love watching beautiful women, obviously. I love beautiful women. The whole world loves beautiful women. You see, I'm a man of the people and I love learning about cultures. I'm in the Philippines right now. I've done videos about the Philippines. I want to learn a little bit more about India. I want to know what makes those people tick and what better way as a man of science, purely, purely for science, to learn about the people than by studying the most beautiful women from that culture, right? Women are 50% of the population. Am I right? So let's have a look, see what it's all about. Uh, like I said, I'm doing this purely for science purposes. I'm thirsty to learn as much as I can about the world around me. As a software engineer, I have worked with many amazing people from all over the world, including from India, from the subcontinent, from Sri Lanka, India, Pakistan. Now, I know they're all, I know it's not all the same, but I'm saying I've worked with amazing people from that area of the world. And so I want to get to know more about the Indian culture. And what better way to do that than to watch the Miss Universe, the most beautiful women from India. So let's see what it's all about. India. Harness draws inspiration from her mother, who broke generations of patriarchy to become a successful gynecologist. This 21-year-old is now an advocate for women's rights to education and freedom of choice. Advocate for freedom of choice to choose to do what exactly? What does that mean? I'm assuming birth control or abortion. Freedom of choice, I guess. So her mom was a gynecologist. India. Looks great. It's great in a swimsuit. India. Harnaz is an actor and theater artist with two movies slated for global release in 2022. So she's an actress. Like, uh, is this Bollywood? Is that? Is, am I getting that correct? I like. I do enjoy the Bollywood, the dancing, the music, and the guys are like fighting. It's very, very cool stuff. Looks great in an evening gown. Great composure. Like the long hair. Elegant. Sophisticated. Not bad. Not bad at all. This 21-year-old go-getter has a degree in information technology and is currently pursuing her master's in public administration. So she's got her degree in IT, information technology. I'm a software engineer. Hello, got a lot in common. I'm just saying, just putting that out there. Call me. Just kidding, guys. <laughs> India. Yeah, it looks great. So my question is, isn't it India if my like social studies and geography uh, classes serve me correctly? They had the caste system, right? The, the different levels of, uh, I guess, the classes, the castes. You get the Brahmins at the top all the way down to the untouchables. I don't know if you're supposed to talk about that kind of stuff, but where, I mean, it doesn't matter, but I'm just curious how that plays into any kind of a judgment on the Miss Universe, beauty standards. I'm, I'm guessing maybe that's something that could play a factor. I'm just curious to know. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have any answers. I'm just trying to learn for science, guys, just for science. Phenomenal. National costume is a regal and royal visual representation of a woman. 
While it showcases the Royal Indian Queen, its mirror and umbrella elements are symbolic of the protective instinct of a woman. This womanly look has also also India. So wasn't the Queen of India or the later Gandhi um, was an Italian? What was the lady's name? Because I know Gandhi, Indira Gandhi, and then I thought somebody married an Italian woman. I'm half Italian. What's the connection there? So is this what the queen would look like? This is a great, this is a great outfit. I like this uh, traditional Indian attire. I could just imagine like an elephant somewhere um, following her or she's riding on an elephant. That would be phenomenal. And our 10th semi-finalist is India. India, Harvey. 2021, wasn't it? Congratulations. Thank you so much, Steve. What did you say to me just? I said namaste. You must stay? Namaste. I greeted you in English. Oh, okay. I thought you said you must stay. I said what? Iske doesn't know what namaste means? Come on, brother. Seriously. Steve, Harvey. Get up. Buy a clue, man. <laughs> or maybe this is part of his his comedy bit. Namaste, right? Hi, Nako. Well, you only got a minute. Uh, I hear you do some pretty good animal impersonations. Yeah, they got that question. Let's hear, let's hear your best one. Oh my God, Steve, I was not expecting to do this on world stage, um, but I have to do this. I have no other option. Um, I love cats. I love animals. I would love to mimic a cat. Brace yourself, everyone. Is she a furry? Is this what she, is Miss India is a furry. <laughs> that's a pretty good impression, actually. I would have liked to see her do an elephant, personally. But that's just me. Cat, not bad. Four to five stars. But I have to say this, Steve, that, you know, this talent made me realize that we should never compromise with our hobbies because that can lead to your dream career. Yeah. Thank you, I'm still stuck on the cat side. What? Yeah. Dream career? India! Got my Perrier. Do not be alarmed, just sparkling water. A little bit parched. Exotic. I like the buckle. I'm Harnaz Sandhu, Miss Universe India. Well, I'm doing masters in public administration because I'm the youth of my country and I'm keen to know what's happening in my country and how it's administrated. Along with that, I'm an actor and a model and I've done two Punjabi regional movies and through following my passion of acting, I would like to inspire people by choosing strong characters and breaking stereotypes and stigmas. Well, my mother is my best friend. She's a gynecologist and she has multitasked her life and broken the stereotype of patriarchy system in- Is that non bread? Mm, making me hungry. So her mom's a gynecologist, is she her gynecologist? Or would that be weird? I don't know how that works. But that's great, breaking stereotypes, sticking it to the patriarchy, the evil patriarchy. I love it. My community. And now I'm looking forward to take the legacy home. India. 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 I like the way the hips move like that, seductively. Like a snake. Drawing you in. Something men cannot resist, ladies. Write that down. <laughs> Evening gown. In the final five is India. 
Final five. India has a degree in information technology and is currently pursuing her master's degree. So what kind of information technology? What does that mean? Like you do JavaScript, you do back end, you do front end engineering. What, what exactly is that? Something tells me she doesn't use that as much these days since she's a, like a famous Bollywood actress, supermodel. She just wouldn't need to, right? When you look like that, you don't have to be a software engineer, but I think it's great. She has a brain too. Fantastic. Brains and beauty. Trifecta. Mm. Your question comes from Rina. Hi, Miss India. Hi, Miss Rina. <laughs> Many people think climate change is a hoax. What would you do to convince... Nobody thinks climate change is a hoax. That's a straw man argument. Climate change, aka weather, has been changing, fluctuating all the time. They call it global cooling, then they call it global warming. Now they call it climate change. Anthropogenic climate change is man causing irre irrevocable damage to the earth. You know, Al Gore said that um, there would be no snows on the peaks of Mount Kilimanjaro. Guess what? There's still snow on the peaks of Kilimanjaro. And Barack Obama bought an $18 million house on the coast. So these people who fly in their private jets burning hundreds of gallons of private jet fuel do as I say, not as I do. Continue the question. Sorry guys, I got I had to let that out. Them otherwise. Honestly, my heart breaks to see how nature is going through a lot of problems and it's all due to our irresponsible behavior. And I totally feel that this is the time to take actions and talk less because our each action could either kill or save nature. Prevent and protect is better than repent and repair and this is what I'm trying to convey to you guys today. Thank you. So what does that mean? Thank you. Repent and repair? Forgiveness. Donate all your taxes. You need to pay more taxes for the climate. India. India. Final three, right? What advice would you give to young women watching on how to deal with the pressures they face today? Good question. Well, I think the biggest pressure the youth of today is facing is to believe in themselves. Two know that you are unique and that what makes you beautiful stop comparing yourselves with others and let's talk about more important things that's happening worldwide i think this is what you need to understand come out speak for yourself because you are the leader of your life you are the voice of your own i believed in myself and that's why i'm standing here today thank you Ooh. i just got the hair on the back of my neck wow that's good i like that see stand up for what you believe in don't just follow the crowd, find your voice, say it loud, say it proud, regardless of what that might be. But I did, I got, I got chills, that was good. I like the, the power. Thank you. Final look. Jam. And the new Miss Universe is India. So she does it, takes on the crown. How emotional. I'm getting emotional just, just watching. It's amazing. Think she earned it, think she deserved it. I don't know what's gonna happen in uh, this year. Looks great. They got the crown on relatively correctly this time. Nice. I know they had some trouble with this year's Miss Philippines, Chelsea Manala, who looks amazing, and they couldn't get the crown on there, but then they got it worked out. 
So who's going to win this year? Let me know. I think it's coming up in Mexico City. Again, I'm a man of science. I want to learn about all kinds of cultures around the world. So I will be following it very closely. Um, let me know what you guys think. It's an emotional moment, guys. That's just... I can't even imagine.